Cancer, welcome back to my channel and thank you for being here for your tarot reading with me. This is going to be a reading looking at your next big love. So if you want to see who's coming up, there's someone new you're waiting for. Um, we'll see what's coming up here for you. So before I begin, thank you so much for subscribing. That would really mean a lot. Um, so welcome to the returning and the new viewers as well. Let's jump into this. It can be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see who this person is coming, coming in here for you. Okay. Straight off the bat, this is someone who is heavily dominated by air. Could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. You've got a very anxious person coming through here. There's a number nine next to this person now. Straight away, I get that they're going through an ending. Okay, they're currently going through a breakup, a loss, a divorce. They're parting with a big stage of their life right now. Which is very interesting to see. Okay. Could also be an Aries. We've got the Magician here. Very independent person. Uh, that's coming through here for you, Cancer. Okay. So why get they have recently learned a massive lesson in love like they've been hurt they've been stung they're swearing off love right now but you're going to come into their life and absolutely change it you're going to come in and really surprise them here cancer and they really have no idea okay so there's quite a few high numbers around this person we've got nine we've got eight um we've got another um we've got another nine We've got a seven, so I'm getting that this person is in a really big transformational stage in their life right now, Cancer. This is a really good sign. I'm getting that this person is really coming out of their shell or becoming enlightened. They're really making their mark in the world. So I get someone who's going to make a really big impression on you. Strong Aries energy, but the air was what dominated, right? But it could be an Aries, someone who's very independent. Um... They're a trendsetter or they think for themselves. So it's a very independent person. But I'm also getting that there's a, um, they're very on, okay? It's someone who is, they could work in show business, they could work in media. I get someone who's like a performer or entertainer. Uh, it's something that they do for other people. I feel like they provide a service, but it's, it's more to do with entertainment, I feel. So they could work in one of those industries. They could also have their own business. Um, but yeah, transformation and change, they could also do something with that or help people transform or change their lives in some way. Um, I'm getting that they're quite a traditional person or they come from a very traditional family. It's also like they want that traditional dynamic, right? So it's someone who has good values, could also be like very old school European values, right? Um, very uh, traditional gender roles, I should say. So it could be someone who's that way inclined. But again, they're modeling it off what they grew up with, how their parents were, etc. But it is someone who wants children. It is someone who wants a stable family home. It's someone who wants to be surrounded by animals, um, children, uh, a safe, secure environment. So in this way, you could really gel because you like that cancer. You're, you can be a homebody, right? Actually, you are a bit of a homebody, but you love creature comforts. You love um, that homey security you like hosting you like coming home to someone here and i think this is where you're really going to gel you're really going to gel in this connection um but there is a lot of animals around this person which shows someone who is very um very much a caretaker it could also be someone who has a lot of pets or works with animals um as well now i'm getting the page a magician and a page magician can be aries or gemini and they can be very youthful signs um but page is a younger cancer so you might be going for someone who is younger than you okay younger in age i don't want to say younger in experience because i feel like these high numbers are telling me this person's been through their fair share of stuff But if they're currently in that nine energy, okay, they could take on a lot. 
They could have an anxious side. They could be hypervigilant. Okay, someone who's very observant, someone who thinks a lot, someone who dissects and analyze. They're quite an analytical energy. Gemini's are very much analytical. Um, so they're really going to read into things is what I'm getting. The page could be a child, like a, 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 ch a teenage child or a younger, like a preteen child. So they may have a child around that age. Um, page of Wands are also explorers. So I'm wondering if they're kind of into the whole travel thing or they travel a lot for work or whatever they do here gives them an opportunity to travel. But they're going to surprise you. Four of Cups, I like this. I think God, the universe, your subconscious, um, a higher power is bringing you this person. But I really think they're going to surprise you in a lot of ways. Look, I don't think it's someone you know. I think it's um, a new person because I feel like Cancer, if this is you, you're looking at your options. If this is like, it's not someone you're familiar with. It's someone you didn't even notice. You didn't really even think twice before, you know, you might have been introduced. Um, but I'm getting that there's a meeting and I get that it's through family. So I don't know if this is like a cousin, a mother, a sibling, um, a community. It's, you could be like meeting through the community, a community event, a gathering, sort of like it's, I could be like a family friend. But I also get they're new, so I really think it's someone who's newly introduced to your world, someone that you haven't met or connected with. But you know what? There's quite a bit of blues here, so I think you're going to have a nice attachment. I also like I'm getting a um, I'm getting this person will um, calm you down or make you feel calm, make you feel at ease. So. Which is really weird. I feel like sometimes they're super buzzed and then other times they're just, they have a really nice calming effect and they're going to have a calming effect on you. But they are going through a breakup. I think it's someone who's going through some big endings right now um, in their life. So look out. It could be an Aries or a Gemini that introduces you or during Aries or Gemini season you are being introduced or you're meeting and I'm I'm gathering it's a face-to-face -face meeting. Um, for some of you, not for all, but I'm noticing the Seven of Pentacles. It is someone you either, uh, either grew up with your family or grew up near your family, but you haven't connected with, this, with them on this level before. So it's like you'll be able to have that... Um, you're able to have that together type thing. You've got the infinity symbol. It can very much be a forever union. You've got the tree of life. There's more growth that's going to happen here between the both of you. But I really want to say you're going to have a very um a very enjoyable relationship. I feel like you're both going to be, be able to enjoy life together. But there could be an incredible amount of wealth next to this person here as well. So Cancer, some of you, mm, this person's pretty well off. Okay, ka -ching. You might have hit the jackpot here. Don't go just for money though, kids. Remember, we want love. We want the real deal. Money cannot buy you love. Not the kind of love you'd want around you for the rest of your life anyway. So, um, yeah, look, I mean, I don't think they're superficial. Um, I think they're comfortable with money. So, yeah. I like this person. I think together you'll be really good. You'll be a really good partnership. Uh, and I think there's travel opportunities here. I think there's, I'm getting like the, being able to live a very comfortable um, or luxurious life together. So I like that that's come up. And this is an arch. It's like you're gonna go to the next phase of your life with this person, but arches are also support support structures so i'm getting that this person something about the word support is coming up next to them could work in a supporting role um, could be very supportive in general could support you through whatever you're with or they might even need your support cancer and you know 
you can be one of the most emotionally supportive, loving, uplifting, inspiring, engaging signs to have around when you need that. So I think you'll be able to offer them that kind of love and that kind of support in particular. So really beautiful reading but i'll leave it there so thank you again for watching cancer good luck and all the best in this connection of course don't forget to like uh this video uh, and also subscribe if you haven't thanks to all my subbies and hopefully we'll connect soon bye for now